Well, one thing I really wanted to do today uh, is do what we call the Jeffries method. Every person, a lot of other clinicians do it. It's nothing different. Um, but you'll kind of see, it gets her used to seeing me on both sides. Starts getting her used to my weight. And it'll be ready for preparation for her to put the saddle on. I'm not going to ride her. I am going to be laying over her so she'll get used to my weight. But as long as my legs are together, I'm not riding her. So first thing we do is I'm just basically trying to get my heart rate up. Because normally, no, she's a little nervous. She's not completely nervous, but she's a little nervous. Get my heart rate up to hers. Kind of so we match. And get her used to me bouncing up and down. You know, because who knows what's going to happen someday. Something's going to bounce up beside her and choke the Why not get her used to it right now? Then, just going to hop up on top of her, get her used to my weight, and walk away. That weight's not going to stay there. Great workout, too. i got to make sure... You know, the reason we do this is to get us real connected and together. My heart is as close to her heart as possible. That's why I got my heart right up. We're matching. And as I come down and lay on top of her, it's going to start slowing down and bring her down with mine. One other thing I'm doing also is I'm not sitting still while I'm up here. She sees me on both eyes. Horses think out of both, you know, one brain than the other. And this is where a lot of people get in trouble when they swing their leg over. This is when we're most vulnerable. That's when it spooks them. Because now they saw you on one eye, and she got a leg on the other eye, and then they jump. Why not do it right here? This horse is getting used to me off of both the eyes. And if she were to jump, I fall on my feet. I'll just come off this way. And I always have my rein like this. Sometimes I have a holder if these horses were any bigger. And I do use a mounting block. I'm going to move my legs. Because eventually there's going to be a saddle and all that stuff over there. I'm making sure her head stays a little bit over. So I have control. And I don't care if she smells me. I'm really rubbing everywhere I can. Put this leg up. Over her rump, up and over her rump. I'm gonna be comfortable. Good girl. Now I can relax and pet her everywhere. She's not real sure what I'm feeling. This is the cool part about doing this. Is I can feel her start to soften each part of her back. As she puts her head down, I can feel her whole back start to relax. Starting usually at the withers, and just gradually look back. I'm just going to scoop my way back. Oh, it's way more comfortable now. And make sure my head stays on one side. My body's a little bit off to the other side. So if she were to jump, I can go right over and fall right on my feet. I never split my legs. My feet are crossed. Because I'm not riding her. I don't want to ride her. She's not ready. But she is getting used to me. I'm getting used to my hat flying off. Oh, my habit is I always walk away from it. That way, she has a momentary time to think, hey, it's going to end. If she were real nervous, we'll find out. She'll find out, hey, this is going to end. I don't have to worry about it. And you see she's licking and chewing. And now she has, she's been real calm through this whole process. Oh, sorry. She's been real calm through this whole process. And even if they're nervous, for some reason this seems to help all of our This just has a calming feel to it. A great connection to you and the horse. She can come around to look at you. No big deal. And do my rope. Can you go? I'm going to slide off. Good girl. 
you walk away. Now I go on to the other side. We can't just do one side, we have to do both. See, every time I walk away, it's getting better and better. She's not bracing in the pole. Her, flu her movement in her walk is actually changing. And we're not doing anything but jumping up and down on her. But we are building a relationship with her. We're building a real good relationship with her, saying, hey, I'm not going to hurt you. Let's get connected. You know, if you follow me, I'll, I'll get you out of trouble. Make sure I move my feet, just like I did the other side. A lot of horses get scared of this. Why? With the noise you just hear. Oh, sorry. I'm going to walk away. Okay, each time I walk away, it seems everything seems to be getting softer and softer. I'm not having to pull her. She's starting to just follow me. I'll ask her to release down. Put her head down a little bit. about that for the night and we'll probably saddle her and hop on her for a little bit tomorrow. Alright, thank you.